God is saying something to the church in this hour. He is speaking to the church in this hour. You only have to see what is happening in the church to know that what I am saying is true. We got these prosperity pimps coming into our church and they are fleecing the sheep of Jesus Christ because they are twisting scripture to help them get their financial need. That is not of God. Jesus didn't go to a cross and take a nail on this hand and a nail on that hand and a nail in his feet so you could become a billionaire. No, that is the lust of the flesh and the Bible tells us that is the spirit of mammon. You must choose this day whom you will serve. Those prosperity pimps that are telling you that if you give us an Isaiah 53 verse 4 offering today of $534 God will bless you. That is a rebuke from the pit of hell. Because there was no such thing as numbers and verses and chapters in the Torah before the Bible came. We are seeing today, we are seeing prosperity pimps come into churches and they're telling people that the first 24 people to come up here and give a good seed, I will bless them. They are using scripture and saying these represent the 24 elders and those that give their best seed, God will bless them today. We got prosperity pigs that are coming into church and saying to her house owners, if you own your own house in this church, put up your hand. Then he says to them, if you give a seed of $500, God will make you a millionaire. That's a lie from the pit of hell. And you have been subject to that lie. And the only one that allows that false prophet, that false teacher, that false apostle, that false evangelist, that false teacher from prospering is because you allow it to happen in your churches. But the church of Jesus Christ that has not yet got the fullness of the baptism of the Holy Spirit, they can look into our churches today within the Pentecostal, within the Charismatic, and they see something is wrong. People of God, Jesus didn't die on the cross so that you could fulfill the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. He came to give life and life in abundance. It is time for the church of Jesus Christ to awaken. We need those Pentecostal preachers that preach the word of God in and out of season to rebuke the false moves of the Holy Spirit. We've got a Kundalini spirit coming in the church today that people are manifesting demons and they are saying it's the Holy Ghost. That is a lie from the pit of hell. Those contortions, those movements, they are demonic and those spirits are welcomed in the church because nobody's casting them out. Because nobody has the spirit of discerning of spirits in the church. What is going on? This is a rebuke to the Pentecostal and the charismatic churches of today. Have we come so far away from the Word of God that we are no longer able to see beyond our navel? Hallelujah! It is time to rebuke it. It doesn't matter who that teacher is. They may be a good teacher, but just look what happens around them. Look at their followers. What are they manifesting? What are they doing? God is rebuking the church within this hour. He is saying, come out from among them and be separated. He's saying, come out from them. There is a strange fire that has been placed upon the altar. And unless God raises up more Pentecostal, charismatic, fire-preaching preachers that will tell you that hell is still hot and many souls are going dead. We've got to get a fire in our belly that will rebuke the devil and say it is time for the church of Jesus Christ to preach the truth. It is everywhere today. It is everywhere you go. 
false prophets. 